So you're thinking about moving to Foley, Alabama. Well, today in this video, we are going to go over the pros and cons of living in Foley, Alabama. So let's get to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones to learn all there is to know about what it's like to live in the Orange Beach Gulf Shores and surrounding areas. My name is Aileen Fountain, along with my partner, Andy Hollis. We do these videos each and every week just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to actually live at the beach. So whether it's nine days or 90 days from when you're thinking about making your move, give us a call, shoot us a text, email us, set up a Zoom. We'd love to meet with you face to face. We get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. So as I mentioned, we are going to go over the pros and cons of living in Foley, Alabama. Where is Foley? <laughs> uh, so Foley is centrally located and it is just north of Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, um, you know, a few miles north. To About 15 able, minutes on the beach? Yeah, yeah, to be able to get to the beach from either uh, Gulf Shores or Orange Beach, which makes it an ideal place because... Foley is um, got a lot more uh, options as far as housing goes, and they also have better pricing. So if you want that beach life, but you don't want to have to pay the price of living at the beach, Foley is an excellent place to choose to live. Big pro is Foley has grown a lot. When back in the day, Foley was just this rural town. It had the only Walmart around. So really people knew Foley because it had a Walmart. So they would stop at the Walmart on their way to, down to the beach. And that was really all people ever uh, knew or did of Foley. Oh. But that has changed tremendously over yeah. the last 20 years. And even over just the last five years, Foley has grown so much. Um, so a lot of the chain restaurants are coming into Foley. There's a lot more to do in Foley. Owa, which is a full-on amusement park. Um, and water park. And water yeah. park. And um, uh, retail restaurants um, and stores has all opened up into Foley. Foley has Putt-Putt. It has um, a the ton. Tanger Outlets. The Outlet Mall, which is another reason why people used to only go to Foley was to go to that Outlet Mall. we got the Outlet Mall's Bowling Alley. Um, so, the Fo so Foley has really become um, a, a great place to live, and it is still so close to the beaches. And there's so much new construction going on. It's yep. unbelievable. I mean, uh, these, you know, D.R. Horton, Truland, you know, they're throwing up new homes every day. They're starting new neighborhoods. I mean, we're, we're going to do several videos uh, in Foley and cover some of those neighborhoods. And they're making it very affordable. Very affordable. You oh can get gosh. a three bedroom, two bath, or even a, a four bedroom, two, two, three bath. And you're talking in the low 300s. Um, so very affordable yeah. housing. Yeah, it just really depends on, you know, what area you want to live in. But Foley is just, it's so close to everything. I mean, you're actually, you're, you're in between like Orange Beach and Daphne. So, I mean, you've got, you know, in the Fairhope area. So you, you kind of get the best of both worlds, like you said. I mean, you do, I mean, and if you're running a business, like say you're a vendor and, and you know plumbing company, HVAC, electrical, really any kind of business, and, and Foley is such a great location to have that business because you can get to so many places in the county, populated uh, places in the county quickly. And um, we're talking about places that have the money to spend for services, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Fairhope, Daphne, all those places um, are, are good median households that can afford services. So Foley's a great place to run a business out of. Yeah. Um, it's also bigger than Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. It's got about 20,000 full-time residences, uh, residents. So it, it offers a little bit larger of a feel, a larger geographical area, certainly. So if you were wanting to land or to spread out or have, you know, because Gulf Shores and Orange Beach are typically pretty small lots because we don't have a ton of, of expansion. Right. It's an island. It's an island, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Gulf Shores has more to expand than Orange Beach. But um, Foley's got the land, so if you wanted to be on acreage, Foley would be a great place to be if you're one of those that doesn't want to be in the cookie cutter neighborhood. Although Foley has plenty of those as well. Right. Um, so you've got that option. But yeah, with the 20,000, mm -hmm. you're going to have more diversity in Foley. I uh, would say a con to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach is 
could be, some people may say, lack of diversity. Yeah. Um, Foley's got a little bit more diversity just because it's a little bit bigger. Um, overall, you know, we're not big cities. We're, these are three small towns basically in a triangle. Another thing about Foley is it is a great place to retire. I mean, we've already mentioned some of the other things with the affordability, but um, a lot of retirees come to Foley because of the reasons that we just listed, the affordability, the, the access to, you know, all the major shopping, uh, all the major things that you, the, the conveniences you would want in life are all there in Foley. Um, you know, I'll throw out a neighborhood, Glen Lakes, for example. A lot of people retire in that neighborhood. It's a big neighborhood. It's got a 27-hole golf course. So if you like to play golf and you want an affordable place to go play golf and live, a fabulous neighborhood. I actually play that course all the time because it's affordable to play and it's a great golf course. So. Yeah, I mean, Foley's just a, I mean, it's just a cool little town. Um, and I think, uh, you know, see us how it's in Baldwin County. Baldwin County, we, we haven't really touched on this a lot, but Baldwin County will actually allow you to do, well, homestead two properties. So even if you own someone, you know, a house somewhere else and you had a beach house here or, you know, a house in Foley, whatever, you can actually get the, the property taxes will be even lower, you know, because you can homestead two properties. Well, also, uh, you can get um, some exemptions based on your age. And some, in, yeah, some cases, you, in some cases, you can get property tax exempt altogether. Yep. So it's, a, again, a, just another way to live a great lifestyle um, without breaking the bank. Um, another big pro to Foley is because it is north of Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, um, you're going to be a little bit better protected from hurricanes. Also, um, going to have a little bit better uh, insurance rates because of that. And most likely, if you're in Foley, you are not going to be in a flood zone. So it's not something that uh, flooding is not something that you would have to worry about under a normal circumstance. Right. Uh, Hurricane Sally was a very unusual storm. I've been living on the coast for my entire life, and I've never experienced a storm like that. Uh, so that would be an anomaly. But in general speaking terms, you're not going to have to worry about flooding and Foley. Most people who live in Orange Beach uh, actually flee to Foley whenever a <laughs> hurricane comes in. Yes, so I, mean, I went to Foley during uh, <laughs> Katrina, even though Katrina didn't actually do much damage to our area. I, I did uh, ride that storm out in Foley, so yep. um, that was... A long, long time ago now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another pro to Foley is that it does actually have a hospital. It has a regional hospital in Foley. So uh, as far as more doctors, a little bit more health care than, say, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Um, so you're going to have a little bit better opportunity there, especially if you're older, to have more doctors and more health care being in Foley versus Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Yeah, I think every doctor I see, and, and trust me, I see a plethora of doctors, <laughs> my wife as well. But I think every one of them we see is either in Foley or in Daphne. So, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, I was going to say, the other, the other is going to be Daphne and Fairhope, which if you're in Foley is closer commute than if you're in Gulf Shores and Orange yep. Beach. So yep. um, I think that's about it for the pros. Let's move on to the cons. Well, so, you know, yeah, everything's not unicorns and rainbows. No, right? no. <laughs> see, that's the thing. We're going to give you the pros and the cons. Um, we want you to actually make a very informed decision for you and your family. Uh, the cons are going to be limited nightlife in Foley. Yep. Uh, there's not, you know, I mean, if you want, you know, bars and music and all that, that's Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Um, but you're only 15 minutes away. Yeah, especially Orange Beach. So, yeah, you can get to all that, but it's not typically really there in right. Foley. Um, it's not. Yeah. A lot of restaurants, but not a lot of nightlife. A lot of chain restaurants. So, yeah. um, but not, but let me and fast know. food if you want fast food. Yeah, all the yeah, yeah. all the chain restaurants, That's big, right. big and small. Another con is uh, Highway Fifty Nine has a lot of traffic, Ooh. and that that's year round. And a lot of red lights. A lot of lights on Fifty Nine. <laughs> um, Foley is is you know t a lot of people are taking Highway Fifty Nine down and coming through Foley to get to the beach. So you are going to deal, even in the off season, there's quite a lot of traffic on 59, and especially in Foley. It can be very... Uh, it can be a nightmare. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I left here, normally as the crow flies, 
I went to, I think we were going to Longhorn Steakhouse and I, and I literally, I missed, I was talking. We, my wife and I were talking and I missed the turn at County Road 4 to go right up through there because it's right by Target. It's, yeah. right there. it's in Gulf yeah. Shores. Right. But the point is I had to go all the way up and turn like on County Road 12 and come back down because of the traffic with so much coming in on Fogel Beach Express. It took me what was normally a 10 minute drive. It took me an hour and 15 minutes to uh, get to Longhorn. What time of day were you going? This was a Friday afternoon at five o'clock. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so you know. we'll do another video on when not to get out and about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so what a nightmare, Andy. Um, okay, another con, um, and this is debatable. So Baldwin County is, uh, from a school's perspective, is known as a better school community than a lot of places in Alabama. A lot of people from Mobile move over to Baldwin County um, to get into the Baldwin County school system. So the Baldwin County school system is well regarded. Um, however... Gulf Shores and Orange Beach have split off and created a city school system. There is a lot of excitement around this. Gulf Shores um, did this several years ago, and so they're, they're a little bit ahead of Orange Beach on that. Um, but a lot of excitement in the Gulf Shores and Orange Beach area for the city school system and where that is going to go. Very progressive, very proactive communities on um, making sure that we're getting the best education for our kids and giving them the most opportunity. You're not going to get maybe that high concentrated level of community involvement at the county level. So some people would view that as a con. Um, certainly, like I mentioned, Baldwin County School System is, is known as a good school system, but um, you are going to hear that from local people, the difference between the city and the county school system. So I do have that as a con, although that is debatable. Right. Um, I have no opinion because I have no kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you're moving from a large urban area, you are going to have some adjustment in general, whether you move to Foley, Gulf Shores, or Orange Beach. We are um, smaller communities. Uh, you are going to get a slower pace of life. We don't have all the big city amenities. So if you are coming from a big city, that is going to be an adjustment for you. Some people view it as a great adjustment because they do want a slower um, pace of life. They do want that <laughs> that community feel right here too. I yeah. mean, it's a great place to raise a family. All three communities are, are very focused on the family lifestyle and, and families are a huge part of our area. Um, as, as our retirees, so whether you are a family or a retiree, I would say all three, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, and Foley, are going to cater to you. Um, so Foley can be a great place for either. Last would be, um, we are limited on health care. It's an area that could be improved upon. Without a uh, doubt. I mean, but, you know, again, you're so close to Mobile, you know, and Mobile has some of the, you know, the top, top facilities. Top notch, as well as Pensacola. Around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you're not that far from getting you know, top-notch uh, health care. But, yeah, I but mean, it is as limited. far as Foley, it is pretty limited. And I'll give you an example. And Orange Beach Gulf Source, too, but yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This whole this whole southern um, part of the county is going to be limited. I'll give you an example. My son has asthma. Um, if we have to take him into the hospital, we actually bypass the Foley Hospital and go to Fairhope because the Foley Hospital does not have a full-time pediatrician on staff. Um, so just one example of, of the limitations there um, that we have to go to the next town over if, if we've got something to do with, with him and his asthma. But that, you know, that's, uh, that's going to just about do it for our pros and cons list of Foley. Yep. Um, be, if this is your first time with the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones to learn all there is to know about what it's like to live at the beach, vacation at the beach, own at the beach, be an investor, uh, you know, the beach life. So, and hey, listen, if you want to leave us a comment and just tell us, you know, what if you've ever been to Foley or if you, you know, if, if you have an opinion about anything we said, just leave us some, something in the, uh, in the comment section. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. So, we hope you enjoyed the content of this video and check out some of our other videos. Until next time, we hope to see you around town. See you around town.